In the previous episode, we had tteokbokki. It's chewy rice cake glazed with gochujang sauce and it was delicious. But Yubo told us that there is another food that goes perfectly well with tteokbokki. So usually in Korean street food restaurants, the best-selling items are tteokbokki. Yes, you got it. <laughs> and kimbap, and they're super popular together, so we have to try them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yay! Wow. I actually remember I was at a company retreat and this was the first time I ever had kimbap. The staff ordered a bunch of kimbap for all the members. I had it for lunch for the first time and I was surprised because it was actually more filling than a sandwich. Mm -hmm. And I also feel a lot of flavors mm -hmm. all at once in one bite. It's almost like putting pipimpap all at once in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Yubo, how did you make this and create this shape? Well, first you have to take the rice and add some sesame oil and season it. Place one dried seaweed <laughs> sheet from O Food on a bamboo mat and spread the rice on top. Then you put the perilla leaf on top and layer it with the O Food kimchi tuna spread. Mm. It's different than ordinary canned tuna products because it's flavored with kimchi. Mm. To add some crunchy mm. texture, you can add sliced cucumbers. Now for the most important part. You put firm pressure on the roll and roll the bamboo mat till the end. Mm. And you apply a little sesame oil on the roll kimbap and slice it into even thickness. And you have to make sure you cut oh. really carefully to preserve the shape. And there you go. Perfect one bite size kimchi tuna kimbap is ready to eat. The deep flavor of the organic seaweed, it wraps around kimchi tuna rice. Usually, tuna is kind of dry, but the refreshing and crunchy kimchi adds more juice and savory flavor. I always thought you need a lot of different fillings to make it tasty, but I didn't know it can be that simple and still so yummy. You're right. Even this black seaweed sheet called kim is gluten-free, but also very rich in minerals and protein as well. Yeah, the black color even makes it look like a Korean plant-based superfood. Ooh. Now we know at least four Korean food recipes to cook at home. You bet. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready for more? I'm yes. ready for more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Create special memories with your friends who love Korea by making Korean dishes wherever you live. Enjoy the Korean potluck party menu dishes introduced in this series and make your own homemade Korean food with O food and chongga.